What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. Uh, a couple announcements before we start. Um, my bundle's on sale, 99 bucks for all four of my courses, my Beato Book Interactive, my Ear Training, Quick Lessons Pro, my Beginner Guitar Course, one price. That's how I fund things for the channel. Um, the gig on the 28th of next month, September 28th, at the Variety Playhouse here in Atlanta. Uh, tickets are on sale. You, they'll be in the link in the description below. Also, the Gramercy Theater on October 17th, New York City. Love to see you out. A few tickets left on that. And then we just opened up the balcony in the uh, gig in Germany, Berlin. It's on October 28th. Uh, so it was sold out last week. They opened up a new part of the theater. So there's more tickets available. So if you're in Germany and you want to come see it, uh, do that. Tom, everything good here or what? Um, okay, so we're gonna actually do. I don't see any comments here or any people in the uh, in the chat here, Tom. Are there people? Are, yeah, you got people in the chat. Got people. Okay, I don't see your comments here. I see people around here. Maybe they'll pop up here in a second. Okay, so my latest video on the um, top ten on Spotify. You know, I do these about every four months. The second comment is love the idea of Rick doing a fifty years this week top ten analysis. Out of curiosity, checked it out. And then they listed the songs that were the top 10 the week, this week in 1973, 50 years ago. These are all songs that I happen to know. Uh, so it's fascinating. But first, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, play some of the songs from this past week. So much to the chagrin of some of the people listening to this, we're going to listen and just kind of familiarize yourself. If you did not watch my video from this week, kind of get an idea of what was on here. So I'm gonna play just a few select songs. Uh, this is Fuku Mean. Um, I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Now, I made the comment of that the sample is out of tune. Listen. Young one on one, that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curve. Yeah. Make this fly like a bird. The, that the flute part and the piano part are out of tune with this. So that lick, you know, you hear this dum bum 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 bum. That's basically the riff. So it's two chords, but when you hear the kick drum come in on that uh, D flat uh, or on the C minor, the C and the A flat, it's tuned right, and it's out of tune with the samples. Uh, so and then we have this Nicki Minaj Stop Ice Spice tune right. that's from the Barbie movie. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Now you'll notice it has a very similar kind of vibe. Fast talking rap. Thank you, bad. I'm in LA, Voteo Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way it can be cash. Okay, then we have the uh, this song, Columbia, Quavedo. That's the, uh, they use as that. The uh, reggaeton beat that you hear in Latin music all the time. This is the stuff that drives people crazy. Now, when we got into some of the songs that I personally thought were interesting, which was like Olivia Rodrigo, Bad Idea. And it's not just because I'm a rocker and it has a guitar riff, although that helps. I haven't heard from you in a couple of months, but I'm out right now and I'm all fucked up. And you're calling my phone, you're all alone and I'm sensitive. So like about this. I'm right here. Okay, I'll turn down the music, sorry. Uh, so the, I just turned down the music. The thing I like about this song is the uh, the chorus part is, is it has kind of this, I don't want to say bubble gum in a bad way, it's in a good way thing, but it's got- oh, Look at you. Oh, Tom's telling me I got to lower it and loop back. Okay, hang on. Let me let me put up loop back. Um, okay, so that that part there. Hold on, let me get on loop back here. That particular part there in the chorus is, you know, you'd think it's like, okay, these things are kind of written. You've heard these things a million times. Most of the stuff is like that. Um, let me see if this sounds better here. I'll play it again. Listen to this here. I should probably not. Seeing you 
So, uh, so that part I think is kind of cool, right? That I thought that was one of the most unique uh, moments in the charts. A couple other things I thought Vampire was cool, but the Dua Lipa song to me, honestly, uh, for this week I'm going to get to the songs and the the old songs in a second. But this I'm going to say something about this. This is good. You can make fun of me, but whoever produced this should produce some of the other tracks on here because it's really good. That's a great sound of trash. Oh! Watch me. Come on. You can, you can hate auto-tune. You can hate everything about contemporary music, but come on, that groove is happening. That is a great groove, and it sounds amazing. One of the other standouts, Billie Eilish. You guys know I like Billie Eilish. Um, the Taylor Swift song is, is, is very good, Cruel Summer. But there... I, I want to make an interest. This is a point that my 10 year old Layla said when we were driving to school this week. So she says to me, I'm listening to the playlist. She's like, dad, why is that Taylor Swift song? Why did you turn the volume down? I said, I did not. Cause I played the Dua Lipa. Then I played this. She's like, why'd you turn the volume down? I said, I didn't turn the volume down. Why is it so much quieter? And of course, you know, you're 10 years old. And she's like, I think like, this is so smart. Why is it quieter? And I was, instead of saying, because the other one is compressed so much, it's like, well, because the the production is more more full. You can hear the bass. Let's go back and forth. So I switched between them. She's like, oh, wow, I totally hear that. And I realized that the um, this Dua Lipa song, she's like, you really like that, don't you? I said, yeah. I said, I said it, it has such a great dance vibe, right? So that so then it's like, okay, I put out the video. You know, these videos do do well. And the thing I really like is reading the comments, especially the ones that surface at the top, like the one that I read about the songs from 1973. And once again, if you want to be able to figure out chord progressions like maybe you don't. I love that sound. That's a great sound there, that augmented major seven chord. You should check out my ear training program. You can get it, all my courses for 99 bucks. That's what actually funds the entire channel so I can go do interviews and things like that that you enjoy on here. Okay, so let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about some of these songs from 1973. Um, I'm going to start. Some of the things I can't play, I cannot play Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. I cannot play that, I don't think. And there's um, one of the songs I can do. Let's just see. The number one song, Diana Ross. Oh, so good. Then just walk away. Oh, man. We don't have tomorrow. Listen to that performance. Then. But we had then. Oh. Come on! Gonna last Let's say guitar riff. None of that stuff touches this. Sorry. I'm not old man yelling at clouds. Oh! Uh, come on! That's amazing! No one is going to do covers of these songs that are out today because they're uncoverable. Even the Dua Lipa. I'm sorry, these songs are uncoverable because there's no... Um, melodic there's nothing in the melodies or the chord structure that will make anyone able to do a cover there are no jazz versions there will no be no jazz versions or anything really maybe you could do dance the night away da, 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 that you could probably do a fusion cover of it 
I can hear some people shred over that. That would be kind of cool. I can hear John Petrucci shredding over that. But uh, this, listen to this. This is amazing. This is some serious harmony. Then. That first inversion chord, and then do the major seven down a half step. Oh! And back up. Come on. Oh! Recognize that chord progression. And then. We got tempo changes, we have feel changes, we have modulations, we got half step, uh, you know, first inversion chord down to the major seven, a half step below. I mean, there's all this super hip, beautiful harmony, groove changes, real people playing, no auto tune. Although I like the auto tune in Dua Lipa. Um, okay, so Touch Me in the Morning, phenomenal song. Not, not re- kind of starts out as a ballad, does, goes a million different places. Oh, so good. Beautiful build up. Look at that bass line. We got trumpets. Okay, Live and Let Die. Oh my God. I don't know if I can play this, um, but Live and Let Die goes everywhere. Paul McCartney and Wings. Oh my God, it's it's ridiculous. Let's talk about some other songs. I can't play uh, Let's, Let's Get It On. We got Jim Croce, Bad Bad Leroy Brown. This is a boogie woogie. Walking bass, shuffle, Boom. halftime feel. Oh, great fill. I mean, come on, better than old King Kong, meaner than a junkyard dog? Forget it. That's amazing. Uh, okay, this was number four. That was number seven on the thing. Okay, then we got The Morning After, Maureen McGovern. If you saw the original Poseidon Adventure, not the terrible remake. Um, oh, yeah. There's got to be a morning after. If we can hold a little out of tune, sorry. Then. Oh, so good. A flat major to F sus to F. Now, if you're wearing headphones, you hear the strings are in one speaker and you hear this like keyboard in the other. That's called stereo. You don't really hear stereo in these new songs. Like if I go back to these songs, even the best produced ones, there's not a lot of stereo going on. That sounds, okay, I I shouldn't use Dua Lipa because it's so well done, right? Um, Let's go to this here. There's a there's a really cool that go 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 that little arpeggio thing that's going on in the background is cool because it's panning between the two speakers so it's a real stereo sound but really everything else you got the kick drum you got the bass you got the vocal everything dead center and pretty much the effects are in stereo there's no real stereo things like we just heard on the morning after that's just actual stereo. Right. Where you hear things that are in individual speakers only. Then, there. Then, oh, great string arrangement. Why don't we cross the bridge together? 
cords are moving all over the place. And find the place that's safe and warm. No auto tune needed, right? And then we have uh, also in the top 10, we got some bluegrass, little Charlie Daniels. I was taking a trip out to LA. You could say this is rap, kind of, maybe. I guess that's rap. That's like rapping bluegrass. And just as I crossed the Mississippi line, I heard that highway start to whine. I knew that left rear tire was about to go. Well, the spare was flat, and I got up. Okay, so uh, I'm going to digress here for a second. So uh, I was playing the double went down to Georgia the other day uh, when we were listening at, at when we were eating dinner, and... Um, and I played Steve Vai and um, Ralph Macchio having their do their thing from the Crossroads movie, and um, and I don't know if you noticed this, but Charlie Daniels when he's being the devil in the beginning, he's he's out of tune, he plays flat, but then when he gets into the na 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 da 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 da, then he starts playing in tune. I think he's playing out of tune on purpose when he's the devil to make it sound a little more evil, because he plays really in tune in the rest of the thing. That's just kind of an aside. Anyways, um, and then uh, let, let's go with this. Um, this is from the new list, right? This is one of the one songs. This is, this is the number one song, Seven, by Young Goot Lotto. Excellent production. This is like perfectly manufactured pop music. It sounds killer. Uh, it has a guitar in it. You guys know that I like if it has a real instrument in it. That's okay with me. It's very well produced. It actually has more stereo stuff, if you notice that. In imaging, I wouldn't say it's like these old songs, but it actually, in the production values for contemporary music, very well done. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, let's go back 50 years again. Uh, another song on here, um, Gilbert O'Sullivan, Get Down. A little clav, some rock and roll. Oh, so good. Okay, now. When real humans are playing, I don't mean to harp on this. I know people are like, oh God, here we go. Old man talk, yelling at clouds. I'm sorry, but real human beings playing a groove are better than machines playing a groove. Most of the time, although Dua Lipa does a great job with grooving on that. Come on. Okay, some of these songs that I can't play, like Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. Now, that was the one that, that Ed Sheeran won the lawsuit on, okay? Um, and we talked about recently, and I can't remember if I was able to play it in my video. Tom, did I play it in the video? I don't remember. I don't think I was here for that one. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember if I played it in the video or not. If anybody in the comments section remembers when I did the comparison between there, between it, I think I did actually play it in there, but you guys know Let's Get It On Marvin Gaye, okay? Um, great song, Live and Let Die, Paul McCartney and Wings. I don't think I can play. Amazing song with a phenomenal, super sophisticated arrangement. It was a, it was the main title of, a, um, of the James Bond movie with Roger Moore, Live and Let Die. One of my uh, favorite Roger Moore versions. I liked Roger Moore. Um, Maybe not as much as Sean Connery, but Roger Moore was a great James Bond. Um, so 
it's really fascinating to, to compare this stuff. Now, if you actually listen to the, um, one of the things that I think a lot of people find fatiguing about contemporary music, it's not just the monotony of the lack of imagination of people nowadays uh, with the choices of sounds, all you, uh, you know, all the different trap beats that are in a lot of these songs that we hear in the first two songs. When I say trap beats, I'm talking about the 808 hi-hats with the cicada sound there, with those super fast 30 second out rolls. We've heard this a million times, right? And then these- uh, I'm like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I'm pulling a can. Like Daddy, they stinky. All of the Bobby's pretty. Now to me, that's a much better hi-hat sound than, that's not a standard trap beat. This is far better produced than Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice. There are, there are um, elements of these things that when you compare them, if you're being, if you want to be musically honest, that trap style hi-hat of this is far better because it's more of an original sound. It's much better produced. Well, all the dynamics and all the snare fills and everything, this is much better done. This is real, this is very well produced. You can hate it, but be honest with it, say, it's pretty good. I like it. Love that. Okay, but the the dynamics are all made since this is ultra compressed, where the, all the music is is in a one limited dynamic range. That all the dynamics come from the removal or what I call additive production features. Right? They do all have all these drops where the bass drops out, the kick drum drops out. Or they have something with a repetitive dum bum 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 this part. And I'm about like the ball pillin' up. I told Tate, bring the Bob Dylan up. The pussy's so cold, we just chillin' out. Yelling, 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 yelling,
that was big when I was when I was ten years old. I was ten years old in 1972, so a year before this, 61 now, and we were listening to it. And so she was the one that made the point of of uh, listening to these songs and the kind of the dynamic variation and the stereo thing, although she didn't have the words for it. But one of the songs that, that I want to talk about, which is one of my favorite songs from 1973 that's on this list, is Chicago, Feeling Stronger Every Day. This is a song that has tempo changes in it, Pizza Terra singing lead, then Terry Kath. Oh! Then. Horns. Oh, nice triplet, Phil. Oh. Oh. Then, right here, listen. Horns. Oh, amazing. Now, why can't people just sing harmonies instead of auto-tuning them? Then. Now, my favorite part in the song is the build-up at the end. It's so good because it has this, I don't know if you call it honky-tonk thing, but the guitar part, listen. Hold on. The speed up. Nobody speeds up anymore except for Freebird and Kill and Feeling Strong Every Day. Okay, right here. Listen. Hold on. Hold on. Let's find it. Oh. I love that. What you meant to me. Ooh, baby. Then. Goes to the bell. Danny Serafin, amazing. Come on, listen to that Phil. Listen, listen. Right here. We need some drum fills like that. No crash there. Who plays drum fills like that in songs that are in the top 10 of the pop charts, right? Listen to that. Listen to that. Come on, that's like uh, that's some Keith. That's like a Keith Moon drum fill by a jazz drummer. Listen. Oh. Forget it, right? This stuff doesn't touch this. All that, all this new stuff. I'm sorry. I'm an old guy, right? But you know, a lot of people that are listening here, if you're under 30, you probably never even heard any heard of any of these songs. Uh, that's on Chicago's Greatest Hits, um, which is an amazing record. Uh, one of the songs from 72 that I played for Layla was Saturday in the Park, which is a killer song. A lot of the songs on here, my favorite song on that, though, is um, is uh, I've Been Searching or Searching So Long. Oh, man, that's got, that's got one of my favorite guitar solos. It's like two bars, Terry Kath, and he just kills it. Um, anyhow, 
Love to know your thoughts. This is uh, this is a fascinating thing. I don't know why I've never done this compared uh, compared the same week of the charts of the top ten, but maybe this is a regular thing to do. Thank you to um, uh, who made the comment, Benoit Demarius twenty nine forty eight. Uh, put that in there for me. Um, I really appreciate that. There's there's a lot of people, hundreds and hundreds of people that like that comment. It's one of the top comments, the second top second highest comment. On my latest video, if you haven't seen my latest video, check it out. Get your Beato bundle, 99 bucks for everything. The 28th of September at the uh, Variety Plays Playhouse here in Atlanta. October 17th, New York City, Gramercy Theater. October 28th in Berlin, Germany. It's Link is in the description. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care.